Hey, fellow family of God, I have a challenge for you tonight. The challenge is why I think you, as a citizen of heaven, should vote as a citizen of the United States. Romans 13.1 says this, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Likewise, verse 6, Because of this you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of God, attending to this very thing. So we see that earthly authorities, governments, are actually God's ministers to bring something to society. And what do they bring? Found in verse 4. For he is God's servant for your good, to bring flourishing. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on wrongdoers. So the government brings two things. Number one, brings about the flourishing of our society. And number two, it brings out justice to ensure that true justice happens. So if you were a king or a queen, whether you know Jesus or not, you would be accountable to God to bring those two things upon the people that you rule over. Well, the funny thing is, in America, for this short amount of time during elections, you and I as the citizens, we are actually the lawmakers. We are asked to speak that which is true and good and what actually is flourishing, what is justice. So, brother, sister, I would encourage you because of the gospel and because of your role as a lawmaker in that time to be sure that you're faithful, to be registered to vote, and to vote faithfully with the heart of Jesus. How do you do that? First thing is, you go to Ohio.gov, if you're in Ohio, to make sure you're registered to vote, which you need to have done by October 10th of 2023, if you're watching this video in 2023. And number two, would encourage you to go to ccv.org for resources to help you think and engage political from, politically from a gospel perspective. So unless you have some other biblical conviction or reason or circumstances why you could not vote as a citizen of the United States, I would really encourage you to steward that opportunity as ambassador of King Jesus to step forward when you're asked to be a lawmaker and in that time to speak that which is true and good and that which is flourishing to the people and that which brings justice. May we walk faithfully with the Lord, remembering that we are citizens of heaven, but in this time we are sojourners of here, and we happen to be lawmakers.